Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more Let's Play God of War Blind for the PS2. In the last episode, we started the Let's Play. This episode, I'm going to most likely... Okay, so in this episode, we're going to run into a cutscene, apparently. And he, the dude said that the big one heals the small ones. So we'll see how this goes. I feel, I feel bad for that one guy. He just had a pizza paddle. That's the only defense he had against these gigantic things. So I take it I'm supposed to beat the small ones and then go beat the big one? I mean, he did say that the big one heals the small ones, but so far I'm not... Okay, I am getting my ass kicked here. I won't, I won't lie. Oh, oh. How, how many you only get? Oh, does your magic restore? Like, a little bit? Or is there a little bit of magic restoration? Okay. I'm beating you up. You are not. Okay. Alright, so am I supposed to go kill the big one first? The big one first. Oh, yeah, and it came back. Okay, so kill the big one first. Then the small ones. Or I can't get up here because they prohibit me from doing so? Yeah, they just knocked me off. Assholes. Okay, I guess then... Alright. Okay, this will be interesting. Uh, does my magic heal over time? It'd be nice if it did. It'd be pretty normal for most games. Because that, that is typical... Uh, okay. I hope this is the last portion of this... Uh, of this level being the final boss, the fi the final gigantic kraken. I almost said the gigantic, final gigantic kraken. Okay, so if I beat him up again, will he come back and respawn with less full health than he did last time? Kind of want to save my magic for the big version, but he does look kind of far away, so I don't know if I'll be able to hit him. So I might want to use it up here. What button? Oh, it was left. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he keeps slamming his head into boxes, which is fine and dandy. I guess I'm just going to have to keep alternating between the two, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. So just beat the ever-loving shit out of him with my Blades of Chaos. I like that cutscene where everybody died, and then Kratos just pulled, Kratos just pulled out his Blades of Chaos like, uh... Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to do this real quick. Uh... Because Kratos is, like, a super badass character. Oh, that's garbage. As soon as I hopped up there to go fight the big one, the other one came back. Okay, can I hit him from here? That's a no. Okay, then how am I supposed to do this? I don't get it. Am I supposed to, just like, destroy the... Are these explosive boxes or some shit? Oh, you can climb the boxes. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Okay, what does this do? Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to down it and then put the spike on its skull. Okay, fair enough. Let's just do that one more time. I've been wasting my magic here. Just letting them fall and then letting them get back up. But let's just uh, let's do it one more time. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we are. Now, run over to the right, hop on the box, hop on this box, hop on that box, hop on pop, clean up with a mop. Got it? And your face has been spiked. So you're dead and you lose. And I just got a bunch of souls and everything. It just sits there and writhes in pain. I like that. Very, very evil. Okay, and Poseidon's Wrath or whatever the fuck it's called. Poseidon's Rage. Poseidon's whatever. Poseidon's Butthole. I looked at the pause screen too. 
There are apparently Gorgon Feathers that increase your max magic whenever you get six of them. It's six for the Feathers, but it's only five for the Gorgon's eyes. Why is that? I don't know why they would do that to you. Maybe there are more Feathers and eyes or something. I don't know. All right, so I got rid of both of them, so now I can actually climb the cargo net. You can't do anything about it. I see you moving, trying to get up here to me. So now I'm curious as to why this big one didn't do anything about me killing its children, but, um, you know... Whatever, I guess. Yes, I see you. Can barely reach you, but I see you. Oh, hey, yeah, do that. Do... Can I hit you with magic? No, I can't hit you with magic. I, 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 oops. Hit the wrong button. I tried to grab it. I doubt I could grab this gigantic thing. Okay, bite down. It's like going to the dentist or something. Stop it. I don't want to jump off. I feel like there's a barrier in front of me, though. Ouch. So I don't think I have to fear jumping off, actually. Ah! It's very, very intimidating. I will say that. Can I climb this pole? No, I can't. Hello, pole. Ow. Damn. Okay, dude. Okay. All right, so I, I guess I have to get it to bite down. It isn't regenning health, is it? Oh god. Oh god. Wobble dee wobble dee wop. Wobble wobbin. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, it's a very hard boss to predict, too. I, whenever it opens up its mouth, I assume it's going to clamp down, but even after that, I don't know where exactly it's going to clamp. Left, right, or middle, or what's going And then it. And then it makes me, you know, smell its breath, which I'm like, ew, dude. Yeah, I don't get knocked off the platform because. It's like a strong gust or anything. I get knocked off because it smells so bad. I'm trying to get away from the smell. I'm assuming that's why Kratos does that. Okay. Ah. I can't really predict. Oh, man. It barely has eyes, too. I assume I'm going to get it down to, like, maybe half or a quarter health. And it's going to start this cutscene or this interactive portion. I do also know that this game has a sex minigame too in it which I'm very much looking forward to okay I can actually do that I just can't do it effectively apparently alright so if I stay behind this pole I feel like I have an adequate range to also attack him with him to, m to make him react to me kind of stop it I feel like if I get too back at one point he'll breathe on me, and I don't like him to breathe on me. Ah, oh, oh, two hits. Okay. I wonder if the... wonder if the, the quick hits are any more effective. I don't... I wouldn't think so. I, I would think it's just an actual... Yeah, see, I didn't get... I only got, like, one hit in on there. As opposed to the regular two with the heavy attacks. I'll just stick to the heavy. Man, he... Super quick. I mean, I don't understand. All right, and move back. And one and two, and I just triggered something. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, grab him. Oh, I, I grabbed onto him. Oh, I got to pull him to the thing. Okay, hang on. Wait. Oh, suck it. Okay, what did that do? It, just, it gave me health. I see that. I appreciate that. But what did that do? Other than basically restart the fight, almost. Don't tell me that all the bosses in this game are, like, progressive like that. Where you have to get them down to a certain health, and then they, they like, you know, you do the reaction command, the quick time events. And then you have to, you know, like, whittle them down some more, and then do another quick time event. That would be annoying. I would kind of not like that. But I guess I'll just keep... Hitting him in the face with my blades. Seems like an effective strategy this far. The Kratos is ripped. Not to mention, is that like body paint he has on? Or is that just like the way he's... The way he is? Like he was born that way? Like Lady Gaga? Or like, what's going on with that? Stop it! I don't want to smell your breath! You need some Listerine. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna do Jeremy's song. That'd be funny. My... My, my best friend, he... He, I think in the 7th or 6th grade, he, he, he writes raps, and he did this one rap. 
it called Poof Be Gone, which is about stanky breath. And that's what it reminds me of. I wish I could do that and not embarrass him, but that is not possible. That's one of his earliest raps. Like, Poof Be Gone, your breath is too strong. I don't mean to be mean, but you need some Listerine. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if he'll ever hear this. I wonder if he'll ever watch this video and hear that. I doubt it, but... Oh, boy, come on, dude. Okay, this is getting pretty ridiculous. Because the hit... Oh, man. The hit box... Not the hit box, but the hit range, I guess. Stop it. The hit range on this guy is just ridiculous. Can I hit him with this? From, no, I can't. I gotta wait till he gets close. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, can I just... Oh, why can't I use it? I hear the sound that it's telling me that I can't use it. I get it, but... Okay, circle. Latch, latch, and pull him toward you. Now tell me this is going to bring him down pretty low. Okay, so I have to break that middle thing. Is that what I'm going for here? I got to wail on him again. Am I missing something? I have to be missing something. This Because this is, this, is, this is too ridiculous for me not to... Uh, okay, well, I guess. Maybe if I do it one more time. I'll, I'll do. I'll go ahead and do it one more time. Because I know three is the magic number and everything. So I'll go ahead and do it one more time. And I'll try to break this, this pole in the middle here. And if I can't do that, then I'll go ahead and try something else. But it's what it seems like it is. It's splintering, as you can see. So I guess we'll go ahead and try that, I guess. Bro. Bro, this is not fun. This is just crappy, tedious crap. I hope the thing, like, splinters and impales him and I don't have to fight him very more, uh, very, very more often for very much longer. This is a sentence I was trying to get across. Okay. Come on. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's circle one more time. Circle, circle, circle. And then circle reaction command. Here we go. Pull him toward the thing. And it broke off. Okay. It broke off. And what did it do? Nothing. It didn't do anything. And he's still stuck at the same... Still stuck at the same HP. Okay. There's got to be something I'm missing here. Okay. I can't jump off. It's odd. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get him down. Now that the pole's gone, I guess I'll just get him down to the same health one more time and then see if... See what happens. See what the reaction command is. Oh man, this is this is this. This is a game. I was really starting to like this game, and now the game's kind of going downhill a bit. This fight is just. This fight is dumb. Go ahead and say that right now. I like the fact that you had to kill his two little children minions before you got to take him on. I did like that, but the fact that you have to do this. Can I pause? I can pause. Oh, you can upgrade. I need 448, or no, 498 more uh, souls for an upgrade to my Blades of Chaos. I can upgrade that or my my one magic spell, but I figure I'll go ahead and do the Blades of Chaos. I figure the Blades of Chaos is, is much more important. I just got some health there. Okay, I feel like the game is holding my hand a tad bit because I was pretty low on health, and I, just, I hit him like with a four-hit uh, concession. Like in a row, and uh, it gave me health. See, just like that too. Is that a thing? Is it like, do you get health with consecutive hits, or is that just the game being nice to me on the first boss? Either way, this is getting dumb. Oh, is his health actually going down now, and I can actually whittle him as opposed to you know, doing crappy action commands or reaction? Give me health. Thank you. And run away. Oh, I got him with it. Hey, oh, you can actually, you can do it. If you time it right. I bet people are yelling at me like, use your freaking magic, you idiot. Time it correctly. And I'm like, bro, I tried to and I can't. And you're like, why didn't you do it? And I'm like, bro, I can't do it. Okay, well, I have him under half now. <laughs> which is nice, but I mean, come on. I mean, you could definitely tell. This game was made in 2005, by the way. Okay, you're rocked. Okay, I assume that would be where the reaction command would come up. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Hey, do it. 
Okay, hook it onto his eyeball. And circle. Okay, so this is just straight up buttons then. Circle, 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 okay. Go in here? I can go in here. Look at this. I can go inside. A lot of stuff just happened in that cutscene, and I just went inside the guy. Thank you. Thank the gods you came back for me. I didn't come back for you. No! I've acquired the key of the captain. Or the captain's key. Can I jump down there? No, I can't. Matt, so much just happened in that cutscene. That was kind of ridiculous. First of all, he just rode that guy like a rodeo and impaled his face on the spike. There's a health thing up there. And then he just pulled his blades back like a pro. And then these things, the smaller ones, their heads just imploded. Which I thought was interesting. I don't know why that happened. I guess because their leader died or whatever. But is that going to be a recurring theme? Because if it is, I wouldn't like that. I got a Gorgon's eye. Look at me. Okay, and zipline. Oh, man. That was intense. That was a good boss fight. <laughs> Not. Oh, and I'm back here at the save point. Uh, should I save? Where should I go? I'm going to go ahead and save real quick, actually. Hang on. Depending on how long it'll save, I might cut it out, I might not. Let's just see. Taking a long time. I'm going to save in this spot. It'll probably take a long time. No, it didn't. Hey, look at that. All right, so I just... Oh, I go back to uh, I go back to the cabin and unlock the door. Okay. Oh, hey, look, fights. I want to fight. I love to fight. Oh, I love to fight. I'm trying to... Be Australian. Oh, did you know that they're coming out with a new season of the Joe Schmo Joe Schmo Show? For anybody who'd never heard of that show, it was a show that was on for like two seasons in 2003 and 2004, and it's the show about. It's supposed to be a reality show, but the entire thing is fake except for one guy. They're all supposed to be like contestants on a reality show, except they're all actors, except one guy, and it the you know the end of the game. Or, yeah, the end of the game show, it's supposed to be like a spoof on this guy and how they all tricked him and whatnot. And uh, it's a really funny concept for a show. It's just like, there's a show on sci fi who, who, if anybody hasn't heard about it, I've yet to see an episode of it because I currently have no cable in my room. But for anybody who hasn't even at least heard of this show, it's called. Uh, oh, what's it called? I, oh, I forget. It's like something in the dark. It's hosted by Jaleel White, who, for those of you who don't know, is uh, Urkel. Hosted by Jaleel White, and it's this show, it's this, It's a brilliant concept. I don't know why it's, it isn't more popular than it actually is. It's this show where people are put in situations, they're like in the dark in this room, and they have to like reach into boxes and stuff and like feel around in the dark. And the thing is, they don't know what it is, but most of the time it's like, really, you know, it's it's not dangerous stuff at all. Press R2 to unlock the door. Is this where I get to have sex? Is this the sex minigame? Sexual sex and sex? I think it might be. Wait for it. No, it's not. <laughs> Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him, a reminder of his own past, a past he could never escape. <laughs> 
His only solace was the sea. Endlessly sailed from one harbor to the next, in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. For no matter how much wine he consumed, or how many women he took to his bed, nothing on earth could rid him of the horrors that plagued his mind. <laughs> Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. It is the cutscene, or something. Okay, here it is. X, square, X, turn that way. Turn that way. Don't go. <laughs> did I did I do it correctly? I don't think I did it correctly. Hang on. Square. I gotta make the pot fall off the edge of the pedestal there. That way. That way. That way. There we go. Okay, I did it correctly. Okay. And then I get all the souls. Oh boy. Wow. I'm going to have to do some heavy editing. I apologize if you couldn't see any of that scene, but I kind of can't show that on YouTube. Uh, okay. Is there a safe spot? Yeah, there is. So I learned three things from that, uh, from that cutscene that they just showed. Number one, I think Kratos is some sort of fisherman. Number two, I think Kratos at one point in his life was some sort of mercenary. Number three, titties. That's what I learned, not only from that cutscene, but also the, the little scene right after it. Wow, okay, I gotta edit that together. That was interesting. Okay, um, so on the next episode, uh, I don't know if there will be any titties. If there are, I'll have to edit those out too. <laughs> Is that legal? Can I, can I leave that in there? I mean, it's not that I would want to deprive any male watching this of... Because those were nice titties. Those were, like, very nice... Uh, poly, polygonal, polygonal titties, but I just can't show them on YouTube, I don't think. So on the next episode, we're going to go down this hallway and then up this ladder and then see what's going on, and maybe or maybe not titties. I don't know, okay? So until then, I'm Broken Champion. We're done here. <laughs>